Hello, I'm Giorgio Ghelli. I'm professor of databases in the uh, computer science department of uh, Pisa uh, University. I have been uh, teaching uh, here for uh, 30 years uh, at least, uh, and I, I have been uh, the um, president of the uh, master in data science and uh, business informatics for uh, the last uh, six uh, years. I would like uh, to take a little bit of time to explain this, uh, to tell you a little bit of uh, history. Um, uh, PISA has been the first uh, university in Italy to teach uh, computer science. Uh, we started teaching computer science uh, uh, kind of 50 years ago, half a century ago. Um, and uh, computer science uh, used to be a discipline uh, linked uh, to uh, mathematics uh, and also to technology, very abstract uh, discipline. And 20 years ago, um, professors in our department has the intuition that it was important to help our students to get a different, a greater sensibility to uh, business issues, because uh, they tended to have a vision very technological, but where there was a little attention to business management. And, and hence, we uh, he created a course. We created a course called. Um, business informatics, where, which was still a computer science course, a course in informatics, but where students were also helped um, getting more information about uh, how do you manage business and how, how do you use computer science in order to help people conducting their business. Business is a very wide sense, any kind of management of any kind of organization. Um, that was 20 years ago, that was uh, again the first course of that kind in Italy. Nowadays we have more courses of that kind. And then with time, in the latest 20 years, we realized that the most important thing that uh, uh, computer scientists could do in, um, in any organization was to gather uh, and analyze data and extract information from uh, data and hence the course uh, was uh, changed a little bit uh, its uh, name and its aim and it became uh, kind of 10 years ago a course in data science and business informatics again uh, uh, first of that kind uh, and nowadays too, there are many other courses of this kind of data science uh, um, in um, Italy. So the aim of uh, this uh, course, it is a um, course in uh, computer science, so that uh, the first um, thing to understand. So um, it is a course in data science, which is a field which nowadays uh, is understood as being somewhere in the middle between computer science, statistics and business management. In our university, we teach mostly the uh, computer science side of that. So we uh, form people uh, with a very strong background in information technology, but with all the tools uh, to use uh, that uh, um, their IT knowledge in order to do data analysis. That is to collect the data, to extract the useful information from that data, data that is useful for managing any kind of organization, uh, to analyze that data in a mathematically proper way, and finally to communicate the results in a useful and comprehensible way to the users. Uh, that's a very important question. Uh, so, um, up to five uh, years ago, we would only take students uh, with a computer science uh, uh, background uh, from, um, I'm talking about international students. Now, finally, uh, we have uh, completed our formation, so now we have uh, courses in English in any subject, included courses uh, uh, to help people coming from different background uh, and now it is possible also for students uh, with a different background to come to this uh, course but it's not uh, as uh, easy as for a student with a uh, computer science uh, background. Uh, students without a computer science background of course must uh, uh, how to say, uh, they have a slightly more difficult uh, step to enter 
the, our subjects, and hence in our evaluation uh, procedure for prospect students, um, we are very careful about that. So it's uh, easier for a student for a com uh, with a computer style, uh, science background to be admitted than for a student with a different background. In that case, we have higher standards just because we know that it will be more difficult for, a little bit more difficult for them. Um, admission procedures are based on an analysis of the CV and then on a colloquium, a remote colloquium for the students who pass the preliminary analysis. Admission is extremely uh, selective, I would say 5% uh, of, the, um, uh, of the students who apply, or maybe 10%, but very extremely selective, and is, uh, it's uh, first of all based on the um, CV. Or oh, let me add that uh, the procedure is that selective uh, since uh, we have a certain experience and we know that first international students studying in Italy may not be that uh, easy. The uh, first point is about, uh, in my opinion, uh, it is because it's a very different uh, system. The way we conduct exams is quite uh, unique, very peculiar, uh, because we have both uh, uh, written and oral exams. Uh, many students are not used to this notion in their country. The oral exam is quite, uh, uh, it's quite difficult. You have to be able to talk about the subject, uh, um, to be a little bit also creative, uh, to prove that you really entered inside the subject. And um, moreover, there is also a a system where the student, rather than having just one big exam uh, on uh, all uh, subjects together, one period where you give exam on all subjects together, every subject has its own exams uh, and the students have a lot of freedom to uh, pass the exam in many different time of the years uh, and with any delay as they like. Every student can take all the time they want in order to pass any exam uh, and this uh, can be a problem because uh, because of this reason a student may uh, delay uh, the exam and make that uh, and try that again and again and at the end of the day it's quite easy for a student uh, who is uh, used to a very different system to get a little bit lost at the uh, beginning and this apart from all the other cultural problems and all the practical logistic problem of finding a lodgement, uh, etc. And um, for this reason we tend to be very selective because uh, we, uh, we know that it's difficult so we, want, uh, uh, we would like to have students uh, who uh, we believe uh, will be able to overcome, uh, to overcome uh, these uh, problems. So we first uh, do an analysis uh, on the CV and there we expect uh, very good uh, uh, marks uh, when the student does not have uh, very good or maybe excellent marks, so they will not pass the first phase. Another thing that we uh, also look at in the CV are the experiences, um, especially whatever has to do with computer science, because that sometimes is the most difficult part of our uh, CV, of course, and, but also uh, anything having to do with mathematics, uh, both in terms of academic curriculum or other experience, because also mathematics uh, is another important, uh, uh, another difficult uh, part. Of course, motivation uh, is uh, important. Of course, uh, uh, understanding good master of the English language is also uh, important, but it, is the less uh, selective part of the, of the story. Well, uh, job opportunities for a student with a degree in data science are extremely uh, wide. In this moment in Italy, but in many countries in the world, uh, we are graduating too few students in data science with respect to the requests. So um, in our um, master, the students have a choice of doing their thesis either uh, in a company 
uh, as a project uh, or uh, in the university as a research thesis. Uh, if they choose to do that in a company that will be um, that must be we check that it is a project with aspects of originality aspects uh, um, it must be a serious difficult project not just uh, doing a, an internship it must be uh, the student must have the responsibility of a relevant part of a real life project uh, with a um, certain scientific dignity so to say because a thesis in Italy is a very important uh, thing it's a uh, a little bit uh, like a small PhD thesis uh, in other uh, uh, countries uh, and usually all uh, students who choose this uh, um, uh, avenue, which is uh, say 80% of our students, get uh, a job offer from the company where they do the internship. Some of them accept, uh, some of them do not because they have many other job offers uh, from other companies. The kind of job that students will do is usually related to data analysis. So it's a job where you collect the data, you analyze data. But the kind, um, um, the kind of career that these students will pursue then maybe either a more technical career or a more managerial. Many of our student, students uh, are able to move uh, quite rapidly from a position where you just do technical uh, data analysis to a position where you manage uh, small or big uh, projects uh, in this field. I hope that uh, this uh, information uh, was useful and I hope that uh, um, many of you will uh, uh, try and apply to our uh, university. We'll be very glad to have you at the data science and business uh, uh, informatics uh, master course.